All right, geometry, welcome back. We're still going to be looking at the reflexive property and using it in a proof, and we might even look at a new shortcut for proving triangles are congruent. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start off with our given. So we're told AD is congruent to CB. So let's go ahead and mark that in our diagram. So 1, AD is congruent to CB. And the reason is because that's given. Okay, and so then let's go ahead and state the next, which is that angle B and angle D are right angles. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those with boxes. So two, angle B and angle D are right, and I'm just going to mark that with um, a symbol, and the reason is that it's given. Now, I also want to explicitly state that angle B is congruent to angle D because I'm trying to prove that triangles are congruent, right? Um, okay, so since angle B is congruent to angle D, and the reason for that would be all right angles are congruent. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and say that AC is congruent to itself. So AC is congruent to AC, and the reason for that would be the reflexive property. Okay, so now I want us to just focus in on these two triangles. So we've got triangle um, ACD, and we've got triangle ACB. Both of those triangles that I just highlighted in blue and yellow are right triangles. Now, when I'm trying to prove two right triangles are congruent, sometimes, or not sometimes, when I'm trying to prove two, two right triangles are congruent, it is enough just to have a pair of legs that are congruent and that the hypotenuses are congruent. So when both of those things are true, the shortcut is called RH. L. So RHL. So right hypotenuse leg. That's what that stands for. So right hypotenuse leg. And so if we're trying to use this with right triangles, we want to make sure that we've got um, right angles that are congruent, which we do. We stated that in step three, we want to make sure that we've got the hypotenuses that are congruent, which is stated in step four. And we want to, we want a pair of legs that are congruent, which is actually stated in step one. So we've got enough information to prove that the two triangles are congruent. So we can go ahead and state that. So our fifth and final step is triangle ACD is congruent to triangle CAB. And the shortcut for that would be RHL. This only works for right triangles. So only works for right triangles. Okay. Thanks for watching.